Can you time a plus 20 key as a full caster Mistweaver Monk in Season 2 of Dragonflight? Well, you're about to watch two keys from my stream at twitch.tv slash lbninja7 where we try to answer that question. And I think the results are going to surprise you. Here we go. We're going to be trying to do a plus 20 with the ranged build. And I'll go ahead and throw up the build on the screen. We got Thunder Focus T doubled. Tier of Morning, so big hots rolling. Cloud of Focus, Ulan build, one a minute. Um, so our goal here is not damage. We are not trying to do as much damage as possible. We are just trying to heal. Make sure the key gets passed. And hoping that the power of all of these broken classes like Guardian Druid and Augmentation Evoker, hoping that they can carry the sword and, and, and just make the damage be out the wazoo to where healer damage won't matter because that's kind of how it was at the beginning of the season. And we're going to see if it can work like that now in our favor. You're coming in at a good time. We're doing a, a caster, a ranged Mistweaver video. I hate calling it ranged because I know people get mad at that um, and like the the Mistweaver Discord and stuff, but I know my people, my viewers like it, so we're calling it ranged. But yes, my, my Spanish is still not very good. But it's good to see Mike... I don't know how to say that. I, I, yeah, I want to say something, but I don't know what to say in Spanish, so there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe, maybe I was going to say something. Maybe that's not something I should share, but just once again, never feel like I'm, I, I want that. So just don't feel bad about that at all, Misty. We're, we're chilling. I'm totally happy with you just hanging out here. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Dang, I did 150k healing. I'm a bit frustrated. Can't be as good with Miss Weaver like I was in Shadowlands. Hey, a lot's changed, um, so don't feel don't feel bad. You're not alone. Um, there are a lot of people that that share that. I was like that at the beginning of the season, but I've just been practicing my butt off, and like every spare minute that I have, been playing Miss Weaver to get back to where I was in Shadowlands because it is very different. So you are not alone. Um, just stick to it. If, if you've put it down for a while, now's a good time to pick it back up. Um, now that everyone else is practicing all the dungeons and and has good gear, you can kind of utilize their <laughs> their success um, as your own. Just getting a group of good players and um, you know start your grind now. Now's the time. Ooh, our, our evoker did just fly over, so we're going to get some spinning crank kicks off just to buff his damage. We'll be that guy. Um, okay, let's see. Like my weak aura, I use Megaset her weak aura. Um, I don't really know what hers has and all, but um, I know she's a great player, like a cracked player, so I'm sure she has like an insane, insanely optimized weak aura, so, um, not gonna knock you for not using mine. Mine is very clunky and big, and I have heard that feedback, and a lot of people have that, um, sentiment or share that sentiment, but it works for me. It gets the job done. I totally missed that Zen Pulse there. All right, now we're gonna see this this build shine. I know it's fortified week, so it's like you want your build to be best for fortified. So like fist weaving is like the fortified time. Um, so now would be a good time to do the disclaimer of if you're just starting mist weaver, this is not the most optimal way to play uh, mythic plus. You generally want to fist weave because it, it optimizes damage as well as healing, and it's just great in five man party environments. Uh, but this build is fun. It's fun to change things up every now and then. Um, but like I said, it is not the optimal way to play the class, so um, do not take seeing this as advice. 
um, of how to play the class. If you want good advice for um, what the best build to play is, I have a, a beginner's guide to fist weaving if you need that, or um, I have plenty of videos that I've posted recently of, of me doing fist weaving keys. But if you're looking for a change of pace, just something different to play um, within the same class, this is fun. It is fun to change things up. Even if you don't enjoy this class, it is just fun to do things differently every now and then. Um, but the whole premise of this build is to utilize a lot of the strengths that we're utilizing in our raid build, which is the one minute U-line cooldowns as well as clouded focus. And this build is, is probably better suited for raid, uh, or I'm sorry, for ty tyrannical weeks, because like I said, it's built for our raid. It's built more for our raid um, than for Mythic Plus. But um, on Fortified Weeks, it's also just nice to have something up um, like every pack every pack like you basically have a lot of on-demand healing with clouded focus as long as you have your envelope your renewing mists out um, but like i said one of its weaknesses is you just are not focusing on optimizing damage so do not hopefully you guys understand what i'm trying to say is this is not the most optimal way to play mythic plus but it's not a bad way um, you can still have have success and that is what the purpose of this video is is that you can still time a plus 20. Hopefully time a plus 20. I shouldn't speak so early. You can still do that. Um, with a, a caster build. Oh no. Wow, that was a big one. But just like, I mean, the double instant enveloping miss while we have all these renewing mists out so we have um tier of mourning just ticking away on everyone oh my goodness oh god oh god okay yeah so we kind of failed the race there a bit and maybe maybe healer damage would have helped there but i think a full turn cycle of the the boss's abilities that's not just a healer damage issue. And we were pumping some good damage. I mean, not Fist Weaver damage or level damage, obviously. But for those of you who are watching on YouTube, if you're watching, if I do post this on YouTube, I am also streaming on Twitch now. Um, so if you want to hang out on Twitch, make sure you guys go follow my Twitch. Um, maybe one day we can run a dungeon. It won't be a carry, I promise. Hey, maybe one day. I would love to be like a brewmaster and you, you Fist Weave or Miss Weave that, that dungeon. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, our tank is saying no flare. I don't know if he's like telling the the hunter not to flare. That's pretty cool. I wonder what the purpose would be. Maybe there's something I'm missing about that mechanic. Wow, that hurt. But yeah, that would be fun. I'm I'm looking forward to one of the the best parts about starting streaming is I'm I'm looking forward to doing things with my viewers like viewer keys so far the keys going pretty well i mean we haven't died a lot we've been able to do all the healing and our damage seems very good but stay tuned for this next pack and pay close attention because it will make or break this entire run um i've, I've been talking about one thing i guess since I'm, I'm planning on posting this on youtube now would be a good time to kind of say it first it's one thing I really want to do is have a day where I, on stream, I do a, a heroic run of of the raid. And we just see how many bosses we can kill. And obviously, I, I won't need much gear from it. I don't think I'll need any gear, honestly. Um, so I could trade anything that I get. Maybe a Rashox trinket for you guys. Um, you know, maybe we can get some of you guys the Neltharian's trinket. That'd be sick. Um, oh, yeah. Feel free to share... Um, Misty wants to know if they can share Meg's Mega Sets uh, week orders in my Discord. I think one of the ads fell through the crack here, which is pretty funny. Yes, it did fall through the crack, and it might seem funny now, but it's not so funny for the rest of this run. So I'll let it play out, but guys, this broke the run. This little game breaking glitch. The ad, you guys probably saw its health bar down be beneath the map where we can't access it, one of the flies fell through the crack and you're gonna hear me complain about it for the rest of the key. So enjoy. 
Um, let's see if that would be okay. That's absolutely fine. And then Mike said, I main tank. The Mistweaver is your alt. Oh, I never knew that. That's awesome. Do you main uh, Brewmaster, I should say? Or is it just um, like you play other classes as tank? Um, so it would be great being tank or Mistweaver. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. The, the glitch fly. Okay, so I wasn't wrong. There is a glitch fly down there. That's the second time that's happened uh, this week, or I guess like these past seven days, where there's a glitched fly that falls through the crack. Um, yeah, there's a fly down there. It fell through the map. It did that the other day. Um, it happened last week to me. I'm going to say that. Oh, we have to LOS. Where? Where do we LOS it? It's literally through the floor. Uh, but uh, hey, I mean, I'm glad I'm recording because this this is um, this is just annoying. It's fun to have these kind of things happen to you while on camera. I mean, it's through the floor. What can we do about it? Um, yeah. So go ahead and share that. Uh, I'll pull up my Discord. Ooh, that is a weird weak aura. That's what Meg uses? Where it's just all the bars, all the timer bars of your, your abilities? That's weird. I've never seen that before. And I've even watched her stream. That's interesting. Um, you like it. Okay, well, hey, as whatever works for you, I think that's what's so cool about um about weak auras and just like add-ons in general is you can really customize the game and the ui however you want um those of you who are just joining i'm streaming a key obviously i don't know why i said that but right now we have a bug we're one of the bugs we have a bug where a bug fell through the floor um so we we're just waiting on a tank but we're going we're doing as as ranged of a build as we can um so if you guys like the ranged content um the ranged misweaver stuff that is what we're shooting for. Now, obviously, um, this I've said it a thousand times, this key, it's not the most optimal way to play Mistweaver, um, but it's a fun way. And I'm having fun, and I want to see if we can actually time a plus 20 with it. Now, given that the game just bugged and is trying to keep us from timing, I don't know if that's still going to be a possibility, but it has its strengths over Fist Weaving. It also has a lot more weaknesses, so... Um, yeah, I can only say that so many times. I just don't want to uh, give anyone any false ideas that this is the best way to play Mistweaver right now because it's just, I mean, unfortunately it's not. I love playing like this where we just play whack-a-mole on health bars um, and just heal people when they need it. Um, but, yeah, like I said, not the most optimal, but it is a fun way to play it and a good change of pace from the normal way. We have Tear of Mourning. I can go ahead and pull up my talents. We have Tear of Mourning, Clouded Focus that are just giving so much healing through all of these hots. As long as we keep our Renewing Mist count high, um, then these Enveloping Mists that we summon are, or that we cast, are going to be getting a lot of cleaving value with Tear of Mourning. We're also running, I think, I think we're running the uh, buffed, like, Essence Font talent. I think we're running that, so... In boss fights, especially, you might see me casting Essence Font for once. And we have we have Yulon, but we also have Double Thunder Focus T that we can just Double Thunder Focus T to Enveloping Mist for like big burst heals. Um, especially with Tier of Mourning, like I said, that's just going to burst a lot of healing onto the group. Um, but it it kind of is it acts like a little mini um. A mini Yulon. Not exactly. I mean, maybe that's a little exaggerating, but um, yeah, this build is fun, and we are just pushing its limits to see if it's possible for it to time a plus 20, and I believe so. I think we're we're making pretty good time on a fort week, especially. Um, ads like this are very frustrating, and there is that ad right before the last boss that will kind of be a nightmare, but um, I think it's doable. 
You said, um, I also like her Voodoo setup for Mythic Plus and Raid. Yeah, she, she, I mean, she does optimize a lot of things for Mythic Plus especially, since she does push, like, the ladder. Um, so you guys, if you use her Voodoo or her Grid 2 or whatever her, her player frame setup is, it probably is optimized for um, five main content. And it probably shows all the debuffs, whereas mine is a little outdated. I'm using the QE Live one from Shadowlands, and I've only added in some buffs. Um... Hero here or next. I'm fine either way. Apparently we're still in combat back with that bug, so I don't know if we're going to be able to even eat for mana for the rest of the dungeon. That's going to suck. We have Diffuse Magic that we can use on ourselves. Dang, we did not, um, we did not eat all those minions, which sucks. We're gonna try to hold revival because I, I mean, like I said, this is just a, uh, a fortified week, so these bosses don't hit as hard as they were hitting last week. Last week we absolutely would have used, like, revival there, or we would have taken a lot more damage there. But man, those instant enveloping mists with Tear of Mourning, it feels great. Oh no. But yeah, Shailun's Gift with Veil of Pride means that we have a lot of healing up. We, we our, our players are not running these toads into the boss, which is not good. We're going to go into Revival. We had a lot of stacks out, and we just could not dispel everyone in time. Getting some good Cloud of Focus value there. Oh, man, they are on me. Nice. Okay, we got rid of all the frogs. Our boss needs to be, or our, our tank, I should say, needs to be dispelled next. We're doing good. Boss falls over here. Let's see if I can hold my cooldown. Hold my uh, U-line because this next pack hurts a lot. Hopefully we get an opportunity to drink mana uh, here after this boss. Hopefully it's not still bugged. For those of you just joining, we had a bug where an enemy fell through the ground earlier. <sighs> and it's not letting us eat because it thinks we're still in combat. So we need to be very careful about our mana. say as I spam spinning crane kick and enveloping mist. We're gonna, we're gonna essence font that because this hurts a lot. You can go ahead and Shaylin's gift. I need to tell the group that it's not letting me drink. Uh, because we did have that bug fall through the ground. Uh, so it's good to see you. Um, really appreciate it. Either that or you, you're just from YouTube. But I appreciate you stopping by the stream. You're catching a, a quote, ranged. Yeah, more likely on YouTube. I just recognize your name. Um, but yes, you're, you're catching a ranged Mistweaver build um, playthrough. We're doing a plus 20. Seeing if we can push our limits here. Uh, we currently have a bug that fell through the ground back there in that last room and it is not letting us stop and drink it. The game thinks that we are still in combat, which is very annoying.
I'm just going to revival that. It sucks to revival before this next boss. But, I mean, we don't have too many options. And we have a full Shaylin's gift, but it was just the perfect time for it. This is just rough. I mean, will I have to die or something in order to be able to drink? What we're going to do is we're just going to cycle... Oh, never mind. I forgot this pack hurts. I was going to say, we're just going to cycle Blackout Cakes and Tiger Palm. I'm trying to get some mana back, but... I don't even think we can. Man, this bug is like... It's hurting us more than it's just hurting anyone else. We're going to have to U on here. Oh, that healing is insane. Wow, did you see that burst heal? Let's go ahead and cleanse the tank. My mana is low, oh no. I don't know what to do. I, it will not let me drink. Guess we wait. Um, so we're waiting for my mana. This sucks, man. That that bug falling through the ground is just wrecking us. Yeah, I guess we do have Innervate. Let's go ahead and summon our Jade statue. Can we do this with no mana? This boss hurts. It's a plus 20. I can't drink. We're still technically in combat. I have my mana potion coming up soon. We're going to um, extend our enveloping or our rising mists. I'm sorry, our renewing mists. got to be careful with our mana. Luckily, our group is melting this boss. Alright, let's go ahead and... We can Shaylin's Gift here. Oh yeah, we're, we're chilling. This, this group is like pumping damage. Shout out to this Boomkin. Oh my god, I thought I was out of that. Oh my god, I'm such a noob. Dang, Marty. Oh, you're still going. Yeah, Marty was here right at the beginning of this stream so shout out marty i'm one of my good friends i guess i could say in real life but um he does does live elsewhere but how was the race well actually i'm recording for youtube maybe i shouldn't <laughs> maybe i shouldn't talk about um irl stuff but right now marty what you're what you're coming in on is the game bugged and it's treating it like we're still in combat so I can't, like, do any out-of-combat potions um, like I normally can between pools. It thinks that we're still in combat, so we're just getting boned. We're just out of mana constantly. I'm going to go ahead and revival. We still have a Shaylin's gift. We're, this boss dies. I mean, it, it worked out. But I died because I was stupid, and then... Oh, man. So it turns out you can pill Kajin or Kajin, Kajin, however you say it, with no mana as a full-on mist weaver. Um, do you have a mana potion or food? Yes, I have plenty of mage food, but you can only use these while out of combat, and the game is bugging right now. There's a fly at the beginning of the dungeon that um, the game thinks that we're still in combat with because it fell through the floor and we never killed it, and it's just like down in space, like down in the in the nether or in the ether. Um, so yes, I do have food, I just can't eat it. Because, you know, this game is made by a small indie company, we gotta remember. Um, 
As long as we do the mechanics, we should be fine. Our group is pretty good about not taking damage. And as long as we don't contribute to the damage, like as long as we don't stand on the wrong side, we should be fine. And standing in stupid stuff like that. we got to be extra careful. We can't just stand on the edge of it and take the risk. we got to be extra careful that we're on the outside. But yeah, these packs here, the one good thing about these non-dragon packs is that only your tank really should take damage unless other people make mistakes. Um, and in plus 20 keys, you would hope that no one makes mistakes, and especially in situations like this. Um, but this dragon does just hurt a lot. So we're going we're gonna to Essence Font and then get a Shaylene's Gift off. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well, we didn't want to have to do it, but we're going to Yulon. But another good thing that we need to be optimizing is our clouded focus. Um, we do have that talent, so if we if we need to heal, we need to make sure that we have our, our renewing mist stacked and that we're healing, um, pumping into the tank. If anything, like right here, I would love to have my everyone with a renewing mist out, but we did not optimize it very well. We're just watching the side of the room that we need to not be on. I'm trying not to dispel unless absolutely necessary because that does cost a good bit of mana. It's very inefficient on mana to do just slow dispels. Um, it's very efficient to to um, do a dispel on on damaging dots or damaging debuffs because that will save you mana in the long run that you're not having to cast heals on. But you'll notice I am also not, um, I am not, uh, not spinning crane kicking in these scenarios and trying not to rising sun kick as well, because those do cost a good chunk of mana. Um, why they cost mana, I could never tell you, but they do. And now that it's not tor tornado week whatever that affix is called we can actually just stand here on the ledge as long as we're in the direct center um, we're safe Ooh, our group is doing exactly what we said not to do and that is taking unnecessary damage this right here is the second nail in the coffin you probably just saw my hunter die he was out of range he kind of stayed there for a while well he's actually afk and he will be for the rest of the run. I think he had server connection issues because um, he was pretty chill. He was chatting after the fact. So very unfortunate. I still think this was timeable even uh, with the bug bug. The bug bug. Um, but now that he's AFK, this kind of just ruins the last of our chances. Uh, but we're still going to get the key done. I still find this as a success. Um, and then after this key, stay tuned because we are going to do another key just to make sure confirm our suspicions that this is possible but we are really trying to optimize our mana bar and uh, like i said we are in combat constantly so this person has to res or walk like and walk back i don't think wasting a b res is smart here i don't know what we're doing we're just wasting time Popping a defensive for the inundate. We're gonna Shaylene's get that one. This is like stressful now. We're having to be like optimal and we 
We're gonna stay linked to this guy since an end date was about to be cast, and we have our, our Cloud of Focus fully stacked. Uh, but for those of you just joining, because I see the number has gone up a little bit since then, uh, we are doing a ranged, quote, ranged Miss Weaver video um, live on stream. So shout out to everyone who's on Twitch, as well as everyone on YouTube. Um, appreciate all the support that my channel has gotten lately. Um, like I said in my most recent video and all the comments, my Miss Weaver content is back. Um, and I am having a blast, although this key is stressful. Um, I could say it for the tenth time, but long story short, oh no, the key is bugged, and we um, we are kind of getting rolled here by the bug. If we can get her into oh no, if we can get her into range of. Um, Uh, I'm, I'm slamming touch of death, but it just she was not in range. But yeah, this this is just bugged out the wazoo. Like, um, it keeps thinking that we're in um, we're in combat, so we can't drink between pools. We can't res. This is so annoying too because this pool this this key was totally timeable, for sure, and now we just aren't going to time it because of because of a bug. It's so frustrating. But this is still going on YouTube because I would call this a success. If that bug hadn't happened, um, we would have been able to drink. We would have had full mana and just been able to pump and stuff. But, man, it is just annoying. And, yeah, spamming Thunder focusing on cooldown. See, and that's the thing is I, I, I was thinking to do that so that we get the mana back. But um, I don't know. I feel like you, you spend more mana. If I were to use those on Renewing Mists, you would have, we would have spent more mana. But, dang. This, this key was so timeable, we would have had a ranged Miss Weaver key timed at plus 20. Um, and then now it's just not going to time. Ugh. Dang. Blizzard, we're, we're going to blame Blizzard for this one because they, uh, they full-on cucked us there. But that's okay. It was a fun key nonetheless. Hey, we killed her. We might actually still be able to time. If we can one phase. If we can one phase. We can still time this. We're going to have to pump damage. We're going to have to play super clean. We aren't built to do damage, but Tempest Fury. We're going to Shailun skip the first one. And we already lost someone. Dang. And we're not killing it in time. Why isn't he taking the res? Dang. It was so timeable, too. Ah, uh, well, hey, look, it is so possible, so possible to time a plus 20 as a fully ranged Miss Weaver. Ah, uh, you said he's only doing 25k damage or DPS before he died, so he probably DC'd. Ah, uh, yeah. He's probably lagging. I mean, like I said, this this has just been such a buggy key. So, um... Let's go. Um, so I wouldn't doubt it, but dang, we could have timed it. We still have 30 seconds. Can we do it in time? We're, we're doing the risky strat of, of kicking and pulling everyone together. Dang, we're just not going to do it, but guys, you guys saw there, it is so, so easy to time keys. I mean, this key, this dungeon was super easy before um oh before that that bug and then it just it got hard mode from there but um hopefully you guys saw that it's, it's possible and hopefully you guys aren't too upset with me we tried we've really tried to time it and i do think 
I'll say we we timed it if it weren't for uh, for that bug, man. It's so frustrating. But I mean, we can't. We can only sit here and, and complain a little bit. Yeah, the hunter is definitely DCing. Dang, what is this game, man? You know, pump into the tank while the, the boss is on him. I will catch up on chat right after this boss. Ow. Ooh. Ooh, he clapped us. What was that? Did we move out of melee? Or, or did the tank move out of melee or something? Or was that us? I don't, I don't think that was our... Um, I don't think that was our entangled. We still have plenty of time. Yeah, the uh, the hunter is disconnecting. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, he said it in chat. I know my face is kind of blocking chat, but he did say he's disconnecting. Why did I do that? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. We're just going to revival. We did it. We panic revivaled. We can't afford to lose another druid. Uh, well, hey, Mist Chivas or Chivas Mischievous. I love that name. Very cool name. Uh, man, I wish I had a cool name. Why am I LB Ninja Seven? Why am I not like? I need to change my name to like Fisted, or meh, maybe that has some connotations. Yeah, maybe Fisted is not the best name for. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But um, uh, let's see. What could I change my name to if I if I were to have a cool name like that? We're just gonna boot these guys. Mischievous, glad to have you here. Hopefully this wasn't too much of a bummer. We had this dungeon timed. I can only say it so many times. But um, everything from the bugs down to the bugs down to the disconnecting. It's just a bummer. And guys, if you're watching on YouTube, first off, shout out to you guys for making it this far. Um, once again, I would have loved to have timed this for everyone. Um, to prove that it's possible because I know there are a lot of Mistweaver ranged Mistweaver truers out there despite all the people that say you can't be ranged in Mistweaver. I know. We know you can't. No one's saying that you can actually do it. We're just, there's nothing else to call this build. You know what I mean? Um, so, but guys, I really appreciate you, you guys watching and for those of you that are here live on stream, shout out to you as well. Um, ooh, we're going to take a big smackaroo here. Um, I've been having a lot of fun streaming these past couple days, and it will continue. So if you want to catch my streams, make sure you guys go and follow my Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash lbninja7, same as, as YouTube. Um, and if you're here now, make sure you guys hit follow so you catch my future streams. What what do you guys say? Those of you who are here on Twitch, do you think we should play another key with this build? All right, take two. Can we... Uh... Yes, building healthier, healthy streamer habits by running ads. But this is take two, can we time a plus 20 with the ranged build? Answer last last um, dungeon, I definitely think yes. We just have to do it. And things have to go smooth and just allow us to even do it. Uh, because no matter how well we play, obviously that last dungeon shows that things can happen to keep you from doing such, but let's go ahead and reapply some hots. And right once we can, we're gonna summon our statue. Uh, we definitely don't wanna be lagging. Kicking the healing bomb, we're gonna Shaylin's gift. Oh, we just got clapped. Holy. What was that? Was that a frontal? Dang, I thought I was playing safe too. What are we doing? All right, no more mistakes. Don't look at me, dude. This guy's looking at me.
We can still get a little bit of damage off. Just doesn't have to be the focus. And luckily, I don't I don't know of any spots where a bug can occur that can keep us from uh, drinking. I don't need to drink here. I'm just doing it in the downtime while we wait. But I think he was waiting for those packs to separate. That shattering bellow hurts. There's the frontals. Oof. I think we're gonna we're gonna defense of this next one. Brutal backhands. Yeah, shattering bellow. We have our fort brew rolling. I just knew it would hurt because these guys are bolstered to all hell and max, so. Oof. Yeesh, that hurts. See if we can get some mana back before we pull the boss. And we did pull the boss. Dang. We are just doing this super sloppy. Ah, I see some, some Twitch notifications coming in. Give me a second. Um, as always, while I pull a boss, usually it's just a little bit more chill and better for you guys because I won't just randomly die to stuff if I just wait until after the boss. Oh my gosh, guys. One time I was pulling this boss... And um, we were we were killing it. It was going very well, but we got to the point where the boss was like literally probably sub 100 health. Like if I would have just like breathed on him, if I would have cackling jade lightning done, he would have died. But the tank just started running down those stairs over there, and the boss respawned, and we everyone was like, "Are you are you serious?" And uh, people started leaving. I was like, oh my god, this was... And it was going well. We were like nuking the first pack, the first boss. I think it was like my first attempt at a plus 20 on this dungeon. It was a couple weeks ago. But it was just like so frustrating. Mischievous did a posture check. I could like let my... I usually have like a little pillow underneath my back or my head. I could let that slide down a bit. Um... Alright, so far so good. We have our only death and we totally should not have died there. Um, we're going to go a little bit ahead. I'm going to stop our cast so it won't interrupt us. Getting our damage off where we can. Touch of death, come on. Ah, we didn't even need to. And a stretch. Oh, goodness, I can't stretch. Give me a second. I'll, I'll stretch as soon as I can. Um, but for now, I can't. You guys have discovered my channel points. I don't have, like, the best channel point things, but... I mean, they're passable. <laughs> I mean... If you guys think of some good little um, additions that I should add, additions that I should add, some things that I should add, let me know because I'm, I'm open to adding more channel point rewards. Uh, but for now, I think posture check, hydrate, just things to um, help me maintain the stream or 
are good to to keep. One point four K already. One point four K. Oh, your viewer points? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> you're already at 1.4k viewer points? There's no way. Oh, but you you did give subs. I think that does give you some. We're going to roll in like an action hero and, and buff our, our tank. Wow, 1.4k action action hero points. Uh, viewer points is a lot. That's a ton. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you got a good chunk from gifting subs. So, shout out if you guys want to make me do stupid stuff. I would love to add like some things that like are stipulations. One thing I want to start doing, I posted about it in my Discord a couple weeks ago, and that's doing like challenge keys. So, um, one could be doing can I time a plus 15 while only pressing like four buttons <clears throat> but that's one that I'm, I'm thinking about doing here soon and that's um, I'm gonna do like feline stump spinning crane kick rising sun kick and vivify I think are, are some good ones I'm um, seeing if that's possible but um, I do want to do some like viewer point rewards where it's like I don't know I was gonna say where you can like restrict buttons like me from pressing certain buttons but then if I stream my raid I don't want those to come up and then people to use and then me be like well I'm not gonna do that during raid because then I would feel bad but you know also uh, we are a cutting-edge guild trying to be cutting-edge so yeah do a kickflip yeah the Tony Hawk um, do a kickflip, rising sun kick, the nearest critter. Oh god, and if we don't have anything pulled, just run up and pull like something. And That's a good one, Mischievous. That's really good. That might actually make it. Oh god, we're we are getting hurt. We're going to drink mana while we can. Yeah, do a kickflip is, is a great suggestion. Dang, we hit 200 followers. That's amazing. <clears throat> I know a lot of people have, have followed me from YouTube because they want to um, catch the streams live whenever I'm streaming. And then Mischievich just followed me. Oh, so we're past the 200 mark. We are at 201. That is huge. for Now, I have streamed in the past. I think um, I started off when I started my YouTube channel. I already had like 50 followers or something on Twitch. But then I haven't streamed in years, actually. So... For me to have this many, it is a huge success. Um, I really appreciate all the support to both YouTube and Twitch. Um, I did, I honestly, to be completely frank with you guys, I did not think we would, people would enjoy me streaming. Like I really didn't think, like I thought I'd do it for like one or two days and then um, no one would watch and I would just kind of give up. But this is awesome. This is the dream and I hope it only continues to grow so that I can continue to do it because um, yeah, I mean it's, not everyone gets to live their dream. Not everyone actually even goes for their dream. But I'm doing it. I'm giving it a shot. I feel like I'd, I'd only... I owe it to myself. So, yeah. It's strange talking to me live when you're so used to watching me on video. That's funny. It's strange talking to people live when I'm so used to talking to myself. You know, it's the other half of that. Um, that's really funny, though. Ah! Yeah, no, normally it's me in this room all alone, talking to myself, only having my own ideas to bounce off of, and so having people to actually talk to, it's it's great, and you guys, I have a great crowd, oh god, did we break the barrel, what do we do? So yeah, thank you guys so much for giving me someone to talk to, and also, I'm pretty sure like, all my friends, or, I don't, I don't really have many real life friends, but um, the few that I do have are through are online like they all live in a different state from me um so they all work throughout the day so i just have no one to talk to um you redeemed a hydrate okay so i owe you guys a stretch and a hydrate uh, but yeah streaming fixes that now i have you guys to talk to so huge shout out that is amazing but that is so funny you saying that um it's so weird talking to me live because <laughs> it's so weird for me to oh that rescue is clutch. I didn't have another roll charge. Oh, and then the hunter died. That's tragic. Okay. 
What do we get from standing in this? I know it's a buff, but is, is it like a haste buff? or? I've always wondered. I just do it. I don't know what... Tiger's Barrel removes the bucket. Okay. I feel like at one point I, I knew that because I used to run this dungeon so much, like week after week. This would be my plus 20 for the vault. But I haven't run it in a couple weeks. So I'm a little out of practice. It changes, sometimes haste, sometimes great. Okay, so it does just give you a secondary stat boost. <laughs> Curie, that's actually hilarious. Oh, goodness. Okay, I need to, like, get over that because that's funny. I'll have to tell my wife, though. I think she'll think that's funny. Yeah, for, like, eight seconds or something. Okay, okay. But, like, you only have to dip your toes in it and you get the full, full eight seconds, or do you have to stay in there for eight seconds? It's so much easier doing this dungeon than it was halls. Like, I, I feel like I've barely done any healing. This tank is a chad. Like, absolutely tanking the world. Um, when I sh last dungeon, I felt like I was spamming into the tank a lot more often. We got our tier set rolling. These vivifies are pumping. Let's go ahead and resummon a statue. Let's put it, like, over here if we can. So it wraps around the corner. I feel like we're not even having to use Yulon at all. One thing that you guys have probably noticed already is that um, I never just like press uh, Zen Pulse like to make it activate on myself. I still have to hover over myself on the, the party frames. To cast it and that's because um it shares a button with my chi burst actually so if i press control plus one it'll chi burst but if i hover over someone and press control plus one it'll zen pulse them so that's why you'll never see me actually um like just pressing zen pulse I'll, I'll have to even on myself i'll have to hover over someone and i have a couple of buttons like that like my four i've talked about this a lot in videos my four, if, if I'm not hovering over someone, it's it's spinning crane kick. But if I hover over someone, it's my renewing mist. So I have a lot of buttons that share that. And, and that's a, that's an option to strictly do to how strong some of the add-ons are. Like, I think it's click that allows you to do that. You can make it to where you can set certain keybinds for when you're hovering over someone. And then also you can just normally in the game set those keybinds how they are. I will catch up on chat here in a second. Let's kill this this pack first. And hopefully we have some time to drink. Um, hopefully the, the, the homie sees that we're, we're low. The tank, I was about to say, the tank is about to take a lot of damage. Because that guy was bolstered to all hell and back. Let's get mana back while he's being rezzed. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so... Uh, you have to stand in it until it expires. Okay, so you're talking about the, the barrel buff thing. Um, yeah, I also use click. It's great, yeah. it's. Um, I actually got the idea early on. And it's something that everyone does. But like I just didn't know that you could do that. But one of my, my old guild leader... He was such a jerk. But um, one of the things that he actually taught me... Was that you can do that. And he said like... Um, yeah, I have my chain lightning and chain heal on the same button. I was like, what do you mean? And he told me that you can do that. Oh, I should probably be getting the pig, shouldn't I? Um, he said, what time are you raiding tonight? It is 8 p.m. my time. And currently, currently it's 324, so in four and a half hours I raid. I might stream it. Now, um, you guys have already seen, I do have a little bit of frame drop uh, when I when I stream. My PC is not great. I have kind of like a pretty standard PC. Um, <clears throat> so I don't have the best options for that. But I would like to. I'll give it a shot at least. I'll at least try to stream my raid. Um, but if not, I will record it. And I, I plan on making a video about <clears throat> when I finally kill Neltharian. Ooh, come on. Come on, warrior.
yeah, we are on Echo and Eltharian, and then once we kill it, which we should kill it tonight, um, <coughs> they have changed a little bit. Oh, goodness. <coughs> Let's go ahead and redeem the stretch and the, uh, and the, uh, hydrate. Ugh, goodness, we got shells coming at us, but I do need the hydrate really bad. <clears throat> they have changed a little bit. I don't really remember what they say down in my description below. Um, but they are a little different. I've replaced my f my PC, my little fan that's internal, the, the, the GPU fan, and what else have I replaced? I replaced my GPU altogether. I used to have a an R RX 580. Is that what it still says there? Because I now have a... Uh, 1060 Ti or something something like that like something around there. Yeah, I, it's not that anymore um, I, I did replace it. It's a GeForce 10 something and I think I got like the T or the Ti version I do need to update that though But they're a little bit different and I think I updated one more thing, but only like a few things it was the fan the actual chip and my graphics card, I think. So my GPU, the little um, chip, and then the... I can't think of what it's called right now. What's the chip called? I feel like an idiot saying that, but... Um, oh, no. I'm going to stand out in range so that the uh, shark can spawn out here. And I'm going to try to do the mechanic for people. Oh, that's cool. The, the rescue is really cute. But no, I, I like doing the mechanic for people. I mean, that's one way that we can help them just optimize their damage. But our support is being a true support. These rescues are pretty clutch. I like them. I like his uh, mentality. I think this is one mechanic that I do not mind doing as a healer, especially when I'm ranged weaving. We'll let the warrior get those because the boss is right there. Yeah, I wish I could just answer that off the top of my head. I should know my PC specs, especially if I'm going to start streaming. I feel like that's a question I'm going to get pretty often, but like I said, it's, it's very standard stuff. I built my PC when I was lifeguarding through the summers and saving up during college so um, I did not have a lot of money still don't have a lot of money and I've, I've only been able to upgrade like one or two pieces so oh it was right on top of me the boss came and charged <clears throat> your PC specs cannot allow it yeah I guess that is like a pretty common thing is like you do need just a little higher specs to be able to raid to a good level but hopefully hopefully um, you can maybe can you lower your settings trap oh no we're getting targeted again I need to stop looking at chat. You guys are getting me killed. No, I'm just kidding. It's me. It's me getting me killed. But um, can you lower your visual settings in in your actual WoW? Because I had to do that um, at the start of uh, Sanctum of Domination. No, no, no. The one after Sanctum of Domination where Anduin was in the raid. I had to do that then to be able to actually raid because my settings were too high. I mean, it's, it's helped me so much. Just helped my per PC performance. They're already to the lowest. Oh, no. Well, Gav, it, hopefully it gets better. But, yeah, lately these raids have had a lot of particle effects and stuff. But hopefully you can just join, like, a normal group on the boss that you need. And just, like, let them kill the boss and drag through it. Um, that Anduin fight dropped you to, like, 4 FPS when he spawned those ads. Yeah, same. The ads that you all had to kick. When you had to go downstairs is when it, it messed me up. Oh, you're not supposed to kick the painful motivation. That is totally my fault. Pretty sure you're not supposed to kick that. That Anduin fight was really fun. I did. I don't think I was able to do it in, in Raid or in Mythic. Oh, yeah, I, I did not do it in Mythic. I did it in Heroic. And, and then I swapped guilds, I think. To a guild that was doing mythic after the fact but i heard it was really fun maybe i did do it in mythic i don't remember anymore things just blur together what day is it tuesday oh my goodness you're not supposed to kick painful motivation it's been so long since i've been in this dungeon 
like multiple weeks. Supposed to just spell the tank though, I know that. Supposed to dodge that too, I know that can kill a Mistweaver. Saving to upgrade at the moment. Well, um, one website you're probably aware of, but I used um, PC Part Picker just to see um, what parts were compatible with my current build. So if you know all of your current specs, it does help to put your current specs into PC Part Picker and, and go from there. <clears throat> and you can see, like, if you're replacing your GPU, you can test some other GPUs that are in your price range and just make sure that they're compatible with your motherboard, with everything that you have currently. Uh, because it would suck to get all these new specs and then them just not be compatible. <clears throat> yeah, new PC is definitely a damage buff, so... Hopefully, hopefully things work out and you're able to get a, a, a good little boost there. Oh, the painful motivation is a damage buff. That's right, that's right. Gotta watch these backhands. I want to read chat, but I just know it's going to get me killed. Come on, we can time this. Seven minutes left. We only need a couple more percent. I think this pull does not get us to the percent. Oh, I can drop a helpful link for upgrades if you don't mind. I, I don't mind as long as it's, it is what you say it is. Um, I feel like it, it is the smart thing to turn off the ability to post links. But for now, I trust you guys. Logicalincrements.com. That sounds pretty PC. <laughs> sounds like a PC company. But yeah, I used, I was on the uh, PC part picker I used to kind of just test a bunch of things. And then I, um, I was on Reddit. There's actually some good Reddits like PC Builder, I think is what it's called. Or yeah, build a PC might be what the subreddit is called. But those will help. People are very knowledgeable and you can kind of post what you're thinking. If you're like, I'm debating between this build and this build, you can post them both. And um, they'll let you know which would be better for your situation. So I recommend both of those resources. If you haven't already heard of them or looked into them, they're both really good for if you're trying to build or replace parts on your PC. Okay, our our, our evoker just flew over the boss, meaning it is time to do some damage so that the evoker can pop off. Sweet. Dude, rescue is so cool. It's like my easily my favorite ability. I don't know how to use it. I've played my evoker. You guys have seen me play my evoker on, on YouTube. I don't even know how to use it. We're gonna time it. We got four and a half minutes left. The range truth is live. Also, this tank was like a G, dude. Shout out to this tank. Whatever that means. Whatever a G is. A gangster, I guess? I don't know. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, you, you got me killed. <laughs> that was really troll. Just gonna pop every defensive, pop U line, just do a, a nice little pump to make it super safe. And we timed it. Once again, I almost spoke too soon. <clears throat> and yeah, like uh, I think I had to do an update on my motherboard to make my new like, G uh, what's it called? Not GPU, but what's the other thing? CPU. I had to make my CPU compatible with my motherboard by doing a little motherboard update. But after that, it was like, it was super easy. The PC part picker's good. 
a we timed a plus 20 as ranged mist weavers so it was super easy it would have been probably just as easy with with fist weaving but we just got to sit back and heal do damage when we could um so you guys see it is possible full range and we didn't do bad damage i mean we that was a good caster key uh misty said grats appreciate it um but you guys see it is possible it is 100 possible so there you go we can time a plus 20 and i really feel like we had that first one timed as well uh, but we did those live on stream like i said so go follow my stream it's down in the description below but if you liked this video make sure and hit the like button let me know because i know these range videos are very hit or miss some people love the range build some people hate it um, i personally just love it as a change of pace but like i said don't take this as advice on how to push the best way this is probably a suboptimal build but it is very fun and gets the job done very easily since you're just focusing on health bars, uh, just getting the healing done, and that's your main goal as opposed to damage. It kind of just takes a little bit of that mental strain off, lets you learn some intricacies of the class a bit more, and uh, it's just fun. It's just fun. So I do recommend you guys giving it a shot and just playing it on like the weekends. Have fun with it. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you like the video, hit like. Let me know what you thought down below. Has this bug happened to you because it was very frustrating this was the second time in a row in 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 halls of infusion that has happened to me um so hopefully it doesn't happen to you guys but um yeah like i said this is awesome the, the build works um it gets the job done it can time 20s make sure you guys are subscribed on the way out we are streaming every day we are uploading videos every day we're, we're pumping out the mist weaver content and i'm really trying to make this uh youtube thing work i love doing it i love all the support you guys have given me lately um, let's keep this train rolling um, and i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed this one but until next time take care